Hi, I want to tell you a little bit about faith today. Faith is a verb. A verb is a do word. So you do faith. It implies action. Faith is not passive or pensive. It is an action word. Faith in action is the life of every born-again, spirit-filled Christian believer. Let me tell you how James puts it in his epistle. In chapter 1, in verse 22, Do not merely listen to the word, and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Deceive yourself. Who would want to do that? Nobody. Nobody wants to deceive themselves. But deception means that we are believing a lie to be the truth. So you'll find many Christians will say, I'm a faith-filled believer in Jesus Christ. I'm living my life as a Christian by faith. I'm living by faith. But what are they actually doing? It's not faith if it's not active. It's not faith if it's not dynamic. You do faith. You don't think faith. You don't ponder faith. You do faith. So the evidence that a born-again believer in Jesus Christ is living the life of faith is that they are actively outworking their faith in Jesus Christ. Now that might mean going and telling someone about what you believe. It might mean that you actually have to go and pray for someone who's sick. It might mean all manner of things, but it will always mean action. It will never mean, mean passivity. Now Peter, the disciple who became the apostle, the foundation upon which the church was built, not the person, the revelation, remember? Sometimes there was a, a mistake where when Jesus said on this rock I'll build my church, he did not mean Peter the rock, he meant the rock of his revelation that Jesus Christ was indeed the Son of God. He was a man of action. Sometimes he was a bit like a bull in a china shop. Sometimes he upset people through what he did, but he was a man of of action. He was a faith-filled believer in Jesus Christ. There's an incident where during a storm in the Sea of Galilee, all the disciples think they see a ghost walking in the midst of the water. But Peter believes it's Jesus and not a ghost. He said, it's not a ghost, it's, it's the Lord. And he shouts into the wind and the rain, Jesus, if it's you, bid me come. And Jesus says one word. One word that was a catalyst that motivated Peter into dynamic Christian faith. He said, come. Peter, without hesitation, stepped over the side of the boat and onto the water. And he walked on the water to his Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. At one point in his journey, he looked around him and he saw the wind and the waves and he thought, what am I doing? And he began to sink, but Jesus was there. He took him by the hand and he pulled him out of the water. And together, they walked on the water back to the boat. When they got to the boat, what happened? The faith of Peter in action convinced everyone on the boat that it was in fact the Lord. They got a revelation that it was the Lord that was there in the boat with them. And they were brought to another level of their faith. Your obedience to do what God commands you to do, come, is enough to lead many people into a life-changing revelation of Jesus. Doesn't have to be a long-winded sermon. One word can be enough. Now sometimes we need to hear just that one word. And we say, we hear God. God spoke to me. 
I heard God saying, and those that don't live in that dynamic of relationship with Jesus wonder what on earth are we talking about? How do you hear God? How do you know when he speaks to you? Well, he speaks to you through his word, the Bible, and he speaks to us by his spirit, the Holy Spirit who lives inside of us. But by any manner of means, whatever it is, when we look out and we see the wind and the trees or we, we see the clouds in the sky, by some manner, Jesus captures our attention and he communicates his will to us when we hear him. When we hear him and it only stays inside of us, trapped into the comfort of our own selves, it's not faith. Or we could say, God spoke to me and I could have done anything. I could have moved mountains. That, my friends, is only assumption. It only becomes faith when you do it. When you speak to the mountain and it's removed. When you pray for the sick person and they're made well. When you walk on the water. That's faith. Faith is a verb. You do faith. When God speaks to you by his word, by his spirit, or by any other means, when it motivates you into action and you do what he says, then you are a faith-filled believer. You're a Christian living the life of faith because you're doing the word of God. Not just hearing, but doing. Have a fantastic adventure with Jesus. Go about doing good, just like Jesus commanded us just like he showed us. May God bless you as you live the faithful Christian life today and every day. Amen.